Hi and welcome to RC Nerd 74 In today's tutorial I'm gonna give you a short review about the waterproofing of my LOS quad The reason why I took the LOS quad for a first waterproofing test is that I don't want it to risk one of my FPV drones so I tried it on the pretty cheap uh, LOS quad just to find out if this has a chance to work. The target is that I can fly my FPV drones in wet conditions like rain, snow or flying through waterfalls and things like this. To make the quad waterproof I used the liquid tape which is made by Plastidip International which is pretty famous for its uh, liquid rubber products. On liquid tape there are a few advances in comparison to other products to make electronics waterproof. One big plus is that it's removable. So you can put it on any electronics plates or any surfaces you want to and you can remove it without damaging the surface which you had put it on. One downside of liquid tape is that it's only available in black, so it covers really everything you put it on and the whole surface will be black at the end. So I was afraid that I cannot see the LEDs on my flight controller anymore, but I was surprised that it's still possible to see these LEDs a little bit. They are not extremely bright anymore, but you can see them, so you're still able to check the status of your LEDs. Another thing I use to make it waterproof is this kind of blind plugs for the micro USB connector. You can also get these for USB-C, so you can protect every kind of USB connector you have on your FC. So I plug this into the micro USB plug on the FC and covered the whole thing with uh, liquid tape too. Like this I'm able to still program my FC. I just have to pull out the blind plug out of the FC, connect my micro USB cable and after programming I can remove it, plug the blind plug back in and cover the area of the USB connector again with liquid tape. That's a pretty easy way to also have protected your micro USB connector or your USB-C connector without having the problem to get some liquid tape into the plug. For preparing the quad, I just had to take off the top plate of the quad and I unsoldered two sets of motor cables just to make it possible to remove the whole stack. So the FC and the ESC, the 4-in-1 ESC underneath the FC. Like this I was able to take off the components, flip them over to also cover the bottom side of the ESC and the FC. I made two layers on each component just because after one layer there are sometimes tiny dots which are not covered perfectly. So make sure that you really cover everything, literally every solder point, every piece of the electronics plate like this you're sure that you won't have any problems if your electronics get in contact with water or snow. As you can see I also covered all the LED stripes. There were also some electrical contacts around the LEDs, also the solder points. I really covered every little open electric contact just to make it as sure as possible to avoid any problems. A little cool effect what you also have is if you cover your RC receiver and besides here you can see the power step down regulator for 12 volts for my LEDs. If you use liquid tape also on these two electronic plates you are able to put them on your carbon plate without using shrink tube. You just need to cover them with liquid tape 
the intake of foamy, thick, double-sided self-adhesive tape and put them onto the carbon plate and they sit perfect. They are safe in case of short circuits. Like this you don't need any shrink tube for these little electronic plates anymore. When I was finished to cover all the electronics plates of the stack, I put the whole thing back together. Then I had to solder on the six motor cables from the front motors and after soldering them onto the solder pins I had to cover also these open solder spots to make the isolation perfectly clean. So this is all about the short tutorial of how to make your electronics waterproof. Now let's jump right into the time-lapsed water test. I covered the electronics with water for uh, more than five minutes and everything went out perfect. I was able to arm the quad, everything worked, the FC reacted correctly like it should, every motor spinned. So the whole system is in perfect condition after this five minutes water test. So I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Bye bye.